And new year, new budget, new IRS. The government agency secured $80 billion in additional funding thanks to the Inflation Reduction Act in August to be implemented over a 10-year span. And already taxpayers are seeing a huge difference. The IRS hired 5,000 additional phone operators before this tax season, bringing down call wait times to four minutes. The agency is also answering 80 to 90 percent of all calls compared with only 17 percent during the last fiscal year. The IRS is also looking to improve outdated technology, streamlining the filing and streamlining the filing process. The agency says the funds will also go towards boosting experienced staff as the IRS seeks to crack down on wealthy households and businesses that dodge taxes. The agency says they have no plans or no immediate plans to increase the audit rate for households below the $400,000 uh, 400, threshold, saying they have years of work ahead. And the IRS estimates they lose $496 billion each year in unpaid taxes. That tax gap, driven in part by a lack of tax knowledge, a recent survey is shining a light on just how significant tax literacy is for small business owners and gig workers who face complicated hurdles when filing. Joining me now to discuss the importance of closing the knowledge gap is Caroline Bruckner, Managing Director at American University. University COGOD Tax Policy Center. Caroline, so there's $496 billion a year. Uh, what's behind that uh, tax uh, gap? So our research suggests that it's more than just people willfully evading their taxes and is more consistent with people not understanding what to file when. A full one quarter of our recipients 76 or our, our respondents, 76 percent of which were college educated, all of which were small business owners or gig workers, didn't know what to file when. Almost 33 percent of our respondents didn't know what quarterly estimated payments are, and they didn't learn about it in college or high school. So we we are starting to think that this is more of a tax education rather than an administration problem. And also there's research that shows that 37% of small businesses and gig workers surveyed, they struggle with feelings of anxiety and confusion. So what needs to happen in order to uh, make the process less anxiety ridden when filing taxes? We need, to pee, we need to be telling people what's owed when and when things are due. And we need to make it as obvious as possible. The IRS can't go at this alone. They're going to have to partner and with other agencies and meet small business owners where they are. And one way they could do that is to partner with all of the various federal agencies that have small business financing programs and really work on education, curriculums, and outreach efforts through those existing networks. That's one way to really get um, attention to these issues. And is this just for small businesses and gig economy workers? I mean, or is it just for regular individuals that have full-time jobs? I mean, what, how does it scale when it comes to the scope of those that are paying their taxes? Well, so the biggest problem that we've identified is with people that are doing side hustles, and that is a growing number. Our recent um, uh, recent private sector data shows that there are now 65 million people that are doing some kind of work on the side. And our tax system isn't set up to help those folks file their taxes on time and get the refunds that they're entitled to. And so we need to actually really target those folks because most folks that get a W-2 and just have one full-time job, they can figure out what they're doing. There's withholding in place. Their employers work with them to make sure that they're paying their taxes on time. Um, but it's the folks that are working in lots of different ways. And this is a movement that is growing exponentially and has continued to surge post COVID. And because of that change in the economy and gig workers increasingly in the, the economy, um, I mean, the changes in tax code, uh, is that contributing to sort of the confusion as well? Because should the IRS be putting forth more, hey, hey, we've changed this, by the way, remember, we changed this. I mean, should there be more information coming out so that uh, taxpayers really have it in their face that uh, this the tax code has changed for this year, for example? 
Outreach is absolutely necessary, and the IRS needs to be partnering with different groups and agencies like SBA, who are targeting these groups of workers. But also, we should be updating our financial literacy courses across the board in high schools, community colleges, universities, to be including more information about this growing trend of work and how to meet your tax obligations, because these are how the next generation of workers are going to work. And our tax system is not set up to facilitate tax compliance with respect to these 60 million workers.